channel. If you're new, I'm hoping you'll stick around and see our homeschool journey. My name is Jamie and I'm a homeschool mama of three boys. They are 21 months or almost 21 months. Um, I have a six year old and then I have eight year old. In today's video, I wanted to share with you guys some read aloud books that I did with my kids last week. So I am filming this video on Sunday. So it was all the books that I did Monday through Friday of last week. And then I'll do another one next weekend. That is the books that I did this week that's coming up. A lot of these books are going to be Christmas related because if you watch my channel you know that I'm a little crazy about seasons. I love seasonal books. If you, I had a ton of Halloween books. I did a lot of Thanksgiving books. I am a huge fan of seasons. I love them. I love teaching to the holidays and the seasons. I think that's so important and coming from a public school background like we didn't have time to teach seasons and we didn't have time to teach um the fun holidays like I remember when I got into teaching I was like what huh like that's what I wanted to do and but it's so by the book and when I became a homeschool mom I was like Phew. no mm -mm, not doing that we're gonna teach this and it's gonna be fun and it's gonna be exciting and I want them to have a love for learning because I think that's something that's lost now in public schools not everywhere I'm not saying everywhere but I think the love for learning is getting lost and I think a love for reading is getting lost and I want my kids to have both of those things, a love for learning and a love for reading. So I really try to, um, that's like my big vision, I guess, for my homeschool. But that's a different subject. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to sit here and I'm going to talk to you guys about the books that I read with my kids last week. I hope you enjoy this video. I hope it gives you some ideas of some books you would like to read with your kids. A lot of these I picked up from the library. Some of these I've had for a long time. But pretty much every one of these would be av available at your li local library. They're pretty popular books. The first one I'm going to show you is Night Tree, and I did get this one from my library. Um, the way, um, this book was actually part of their curriculum for the week, and I had never actually read it. And I was pretty impressed with the book, actually. I wasn't sure if I was going to be, but it was really good. So, this is the family, and they were going out, and I thought they were going to cut a tree for Christmas. But it turns out they go to the forest every year. And what they do is they decorate a Christmas tree in the forest and they decorate it for all of the animals so that the animals, let me scoot back so you can see, so that the animals have something to eat in the winter. And they put all edible things on the Christmas tree, which is super cool. And then they like, they drink their hot cocoa, they sing their Christmas songs, they have their traditions. They said they do this every year. And then the little boy at night was thinking about how all the animals must come together at Christmas. So it was a cute little book. They did um, also work um, recommend Owl Moon for that week as like a supplement text. So we read this one as well. I actually used to read this one in third grade to teach similes and metaphors. It has a ton of similes and metaphors in it. So I did used to use this one quite frequently when I taught public education. But this little boy is going to go owling with his dad, which means you go out in the middle of the night and you make owl hoots and you see if you hear or see any owls. And a little boy talks about how like it's a big deal and he's wanted to do it for a long time and his big brothers have talked about it and you don't complain about the cold and you, you know you have to be really quiet but it's a precious moment with his father and son together where they do this tradition every year in the winter and I think that's just super super cute and it's a little sweet book so I like this book a lot the next one I had never read before and I actually picked that one up at our local library too and this one at our local library this next book is the Christmas cobwebs and I read this for Germany it was part of our holidays around the world if you did not see my videos on holidays around the world make sure you check it out I'll leave a description a link in the description box below and I can add a card up here This is for Germany, so this family had came from Germany, the mom and dad, and they're telling their kids about these precious ornaments that they have. And they remind them of their place back home in Germany. Well, in the middle of the night, there's a fire, and it burns their house down, and they save these ornaments. And the family doesn't know what they're going to do. Um, they don't really have any... Oh, and then they get the... Someone lets them live in like a abandoned farmhouse that's at, on the outside of town. 
and it has all these cobwebs and the husband's like don't don't disturb them think about our home our home was just destroyed we don't want to disturb the cobwebs don't take their home from them and they're talking about christmas and they don't know what to do about their job because he was a shoemaker in his home that had burnt down um but he was trying to make christmas the best he could for his family and they ended up selling the ornament and then the spiders made ornaments on the tree and it's a cute little book and then at the end it says something about um he hugged his family and said these ornaments remind me of home and the kids said which home and he said this home this one with my children so again it's a really cute book so i read that with our germany curriculum for germany i also read the gingerbread man because gingerbread um, cookies is one of their traits and it's pretty popular there we also studied Italy and we read a book on the um, we read the Obafana but I read that on the computer so I don't have a physical book for that but I read the gingerbread man this is a cute gingerbread man I never had read this one but you could read any of them so this was the baker and his hu the husband and they were lonely so they decided to bake gingerbread and it ran away and the cow was gonna get it. It's, you know, your typical story. The goat was gonna get it. Um, the cat was gonna eat it. And at the end, the fox ended up eating it. But they had all these animals now that were together and they were never lonely again because they baked with their new farm friends. Just a cute little look. Um, my kids really like this one. Um, I bought this one from Scholastic a few years ago. And they like it because the nose changes. So you can flip all these little sequins over to be a brown nose reindeer or a red nose reindeer. And it's just a cute little book. It doesn't really have any... So they're having like a talent fair, a talent show. And all of the reindeer are in the talent show. And they're showing what they can do. And so it's kind of um, cute because it's like dancer waltzes, hops, and spins. Cupid sings into, so you know, it kind of goes with their names. He's singing love songs. Um, it says Blitz and Flips and Donner Dives. So it's a prancer leaps and bounces and jumps high. So it's just a cute little book and then at the end it says you get to choose which one was the reindeer of the year my boys just like that book it's just a cute little book another cute little book that i had never read before and this was part of their 24 days of christmas and if you missed that video i can leave a link up here and in the description box too so every day they get either a christmas craft or activity due or a book for me to read to them this is one of the books i read to them this week What's a Christmas? And I got this one. Um, this is the one I don't know where you could get it. If you could get it from a library or anywhere. Because I bought it in a box set. Um, that came with 12 books. And I couldn't find them on Amazon or anything. So I'm not really sure. It doesn't even have a company. Make believe ideas. What's the company? So I'm not really sure. I guess you could just buy from them. But it was a cute book. Um, the elf landed and the penguins had never heard of Christmas before. And the elf kind of shows them like what Christmas is um he tells them about Christmas and he's like oh well first you need to get a tree and then he talks about how you need to hang things on the tree so they hang fish and then he says okay so now we're going to get gifts to all the people that you love so they all bought each, got each other little gifts and if you can see they're all wrapped like little fish and then it says that they got a special gift for their mom but their mommy wasn't she was scared of it and then they talk about singing around the Christmas tree they talk about putting Christmas lights and then the elf is worried that he because of the time he's not going to get back in time for Christmas to be with Santa and then they make a big um, message in the snow and then Santa comes and the elf says every year he'll come back and visit them so it's just a cute little book that I read to them I also read them Christmas cats which is, this is a scholastic book but it is a very old scholastic book. Like, um, I might even, it was, I bought it at a used store and it was given to somebody in 1999. So it is fairly old. 
I'm trying to see if it has like an actual date in it. 1997 was when it was published. But it's just a little thing about cats and the cats are getting ready for Christmas. And that is pretty much every page. It's just a simple thing to watch the cats get ready for Christmas. And the last one I read was Pig the Elf, which is also a scholastic book. I picked it up from probably a scholastic book fair since I was a public school teacher for so long. I always would shop the book fairs. I really enjoyed the book fairs. Um, I don't know how I feel about Pig. So I've never read this series before. I know that Pig um, is the pug and I know that there's a, several, there's a few more in this series but I never had read them before but I don't know how I feel about it. And I'll tell you why. So you have this cute little doggy. And he talks about how like Christmas you should not write like a big list and he has this little tiny list and it says may I please just have something nice for Christmas and then you have this pug who wanted everything and he was like super overly ecstatic and he wanted one and one and one and one and one and he stayed up all night to see Santa Claus to make sure Santa Claus from everything he wanted and then he stays awake and Santa Claus is there and he doesn't like what Santa Claus gave him so he bites Santa Claus on the booty and so I see I just don't know how I feel about this book and then I think it's kind of given like, I don't know, a wrong message or something. I don't know. I, I struggled with it. My kids thought it was funny, but I just didn't like it. Um, and then he falls from the sky. And then he lands on top of the Christmas tree. And that is pretty much the end of the story. And like he didn't learn his lesson or anything or next year won't less. I don't know. I struggled with that book. I'm not going to lie. I don't know that it'll be in my lineup to read to them every year. Um, I don't think I've ever read that book before. And so I just I had mixed emotions about it. But um, it was just a funny little book. My kids liked it. I just, I don't know. I like things to teach lessons or um, have more of a moral, I guess. <laughs> um, but that is all the books that I read to my boys this week. Other than a few that I read to them online. Um, I just use YouTube and see if there's a read aloud to go along with it. Because some of them I just could not get from my local library. Um, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, I hope you'll give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel to see more homeschool videos. Thank you so much.